What is going on guys and in this video I'm going to be reacting to the Pokemon Sword and Shield trailer. Alright guys, so for those of you who are already on my channel, yes I do mostly Terraria stuff, but I will be playing the new Pokemon games when they do come out. For those of you that are new, just joining the channel, welcome. I'm going to give my own opinion, my own take on what this game will be like, on what the trailer is, how I think of the graphics and the new Pokemon. So this is going to be my own take on what Pokemon Sword and Shield will be like. Uh, thank you guys for coming to the channel. Please consider clicking that subscription button if you have not yet. And I will be playing these games when they come out, so if you're looking forward to that, let me know down in the comments, and let's get right on into the video. So, for copyright reasons, I cannot just play the trailer in full screen and let you guys watch it, because Nintendo has been striking everyone who posts this video, raw footage, um, except this channel, I guess, because... They were allowed to post it, just the trailer itself. Nintendo's probably making money off this video, but nevertheless, that's fine. Um, so I'm going to go step by step into this trailer and just let you guys know what I think. So guys, for this trailer, here is the first frame here. And I mean, as you can see, it wasn't the graphics that I was expecting. It wasn't the upgrade I was expecting because Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee looks really good really really good um the graphics however did get better a lot of people are saying that the graphics aren't as good or they're the same as sun and moon and that's definitely not the case if you put them side by side they are definitely better this game footage is also not final so it might be even better later so the trailer begins overlooking route one right here it looks really cool um we have a train station here and the route one symbol the game does look okay, it doesn't look bad. Also, the map that they gave us, it, it's phenomenal. I'll, I'll get into that later. Here we go, looking at a house. This right here is the first gym. Um, the gyms look really cool. They completely redesigned the gyms and I really like that. Here's the Poke Center right here. We have a stone with some weird symbol on it, whatever. But you can see that there's actual scenery in the background. Um, it seems to be a very open map. It seems like it's going to be a lot bigger than most regions, which was expected, and I hope that they continue doing things like that. Um, so here is the trainer's house. There, there are a lot of natural things around the region versus industrial, as you'll see later. And the house has a lot of things growing on it, many plants, a wheelbarrow here, gardening, uh, stuff like that. So I think the starter house is the nicest one that we've had since Pokemon has come out. Um, so that's cool. Just a small little aspect there. Next we have the backpack. I was like, when I first saw this trailer, I was like, why is this backpack so big? But maybe uh, we will have new slots in the backpack. Maybe the design of the backpack will be completely different. Um, so that's just an idea. It kind of looks like a big suitcase, like you're actually going on an adventure. Next, we have the character models here, guys. I love the hats. The hats are cool. Very UK-like beanies and hats that the trainers are wearing in this trailer. Um, next, we have the actual overall design of the trainer. And I actually like this, guys, because you seem more grown up. The character uh, looks 17, 18. As you can see here, it doesn't look like a 10-year-old like in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I think the Game Freak company is more gearing this game towards older players, their core fan base, people who have gotten into it a long time ago and stuck with Pokemon all this way, but they also want to appeal to younger children. Obviously, I get it, but nevertheless, the character looks a lot more detailed than previous games. The shirt has a little symbol on it here. We got cool jeans on and stuff. Um, and the character just looks older. As you can see, uh, the room back here, you know, just simple, has a TV in it, has a little Pikachu doll, normal clock, normal everyday stuff. They didn't really change much. Here is the female character here. Like I said, the hat is really cool. 
I love the outfit. It's very, it's a lot more detailed than regular Pokemon games before it was just a blank shirt and jeans. It's not really a big problem to me if there's not a lot of detail on the clothes. That's not what matters. What matters is the world, the Pokemon, the new ideas and concepts. But then again, this does look really nice, very detailed. What I do really hope for the game is character customization. That would be really cool if you could change what your character is wearing, uh, what they look like, their hair. Uh, as you can see here, it kind of flips through a lot. There's a little sta staircase down here uh, after the house. And then we have an, a lake with a house over here and a overgrown house right here with a battle arena. Um, honestly, I think that some of this game will be open world. I know the developers of Pokemon said open world, full open world will never work with Pokemon. And to a degree, I agree with that statement because... You can't have a story and follow a path if it's open world. Uh, things like Zelda, they did that very well. That works. But things like Pokemon, I don't think it would really work. But I do, however, think that some of the areas in the new Gala region are going to be open world. Because as you can see here, this actually looks really good. This looks like real water. Um, we have a whole bunch of trees, a forest back here, overgrown house, and a little house over here. So I think that you will be able to go over here and explore and do whatever um i don't think it's going to be completely linear and closed a lot of people are saying that i think it is going to be a better game i'm hoping it's going to be a better game next we have this foggy forest which absolutely looks awesome it reminds me of the forest from black Ops zombies where your character would sit there next to the fire before you started uh, playing zombies uh just a little note there it does look really good though next we have the industrial city so this is like the first big city i assume that you go to we have a little train passing through here looks really cool i like it next we have another up close shot of the gym this looks like a grass gym and then this symbol that a lot of people are pointing towards saying that it is going to signify a new mechanic now in my opinion i think it will signify a new mechanic but i don't think it's going to be like megas or z crystals i think it's going to be completely different from pokemon itself Next, we have this girl here walking up to the lake next to the bench. Um, and I can't tell so far, but I think you will be able to move the camera. Because if you look at this shot, and if you look at this shot, and if you look at this shot, all the camera angles are completely different. Now, Pokemon is known for changing camera angles throughout the game, and that's fine, that's normal. But if you look at this one here, it looks like the player changed it to that. Why would you have this angle while walking around the lake? You know what I mean? I don't know if it will be free camera mode, but I think that is a, a big possibility here. Uh, you can see here that we have sneaking again. And you find a Pikachu. I'm kind of worried about that because I want a lot of new Pokemon. You know, I don't want just Pokemon reused for another region. As you can see here, it cuts right from this girl to this guy sending out a Grubbin, meaning that she probably has a different Pokemon that they didn't want us to see yet. Also, as you can see here, this the gym here looks like a big stadium, and I think that's what the new mechanic is. Um, with that new symbol around the gyms, I think everyone's going to come and watch, and Pokemon battling is going to be more like a sport. And I think the gyms are going to be tournaments instead. Uh, you see Lucario throwing a punch there at Tyranitar. It actually looks pretty good. Uh, I think they definitely improved the battle animations a lot here, which is awesome. Next, we just have a girl standing right next to a little Munchlax running through the cave. I love this cave. This cave looks awesome. Um, people were saying that you were going to have to ride a train through it when we first saw the map, but it's obviously explorable by the character. A lot of people were pointing their attention to this over here on the hill i think this relates to one of the legendaries or mythicals a lot of people saying it was mel metal i don't think it's mel metal it doesn't really resemble mel metal very much i think it has to do with the story of this region anyway moving on we have a whole bunch of different shots here i believe this is the professor's lab right here looks really cool lots and lots of books again there's a lot more detail in this game and whether people think it looks better than sun and moon or not it does definitely does look better um here we have what i think is the new mechanic in the game 
You see this logo down here on the shirt. It was also in front of the gyms. And if you look at the Japanese logo of Sword and Shield, it is also on that. And in the past few generations of Pokemon, the Japanese logo gave a hint to what the new mechanic was going to be. Again, I think they're following that pattern again. And I think what's going to happen is tournament gyms. I think I'm speculating that because of the number and the stadium, we're not going to be just fighting one gym leader. We will be fighting multiple people in a tournament to get to the top. Next, guys, we have the little animations for the starters. I'm going to let the whole thing play out and tell you what I think of them at the end. So here we have Score Bunny running up, hopping into the sun. Very generic Fire Bunny Pokemon. And then we got Sobble putting out the fire. Here he comes, little invisible guy. Very timid lizard. And then we have Grookey pounding on the rock, regrowing the grass, just hopping up on this building, climbing up. There he is, there's little Grookey. And we have Pokemon Sword, Pokemon Shield. So, overall guys, I think this game is going to be really good. If you look at the map here. If you look at the Galar region map, um, it looks pretty big. Now, people were saying this was small, but this is not to scale. Quite obviously, that city you saw in the trailer is not actually going to be this small. It's going to be a lot bigger than that. This is just an overview of the important things in the region. Um, next, the starters. I'll tell you right now, I am picking Grookey. Uh, Grookey looks so damn cute. Uh, Score Bunny and Sobble, I don't know, they're pretty generic. A lot of people are saying Sobble is Mudkip's timid cousin. And Score Bunny is just too generic. Score Bunny, like, the name is just so uncreative. It's a fire bunny. That's cool. Whatever. But Grookey, you know, we've had monkey Pokemon before. We've had grass monkey Pokemon before. That's fine. But he looks different. He looks like he's going to evolve into something um, rock grass type, which is cool. Um, I'm definitely picking him. He seems the most creative out of all three of these. Don't hate on me if you like the other starters. I don't dislike them. I just like this one the most. So that is pretty much my thoughts on Pokemon Sword and Shield. Definitely drop a like and share the video with your friends if you did enjoy. Drop down in the comments what you think of this game, if you think it's going to be good, what starter you are picking. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. And I think that Pokemon is the Nintendo Game Freak company. Cut that out.